Hey guys, just thought that I would make a tutorial video on multi farms because when I was looking it up, I pretty much got bored watching a 20 minute video. So I'm going to attempt to make a shorter tutorial video. That way, you know, why not? Okay, so this is all of the blocks that multi farms can be made from. Let's see, it's, you know, well, you should be able to recognize them, but in case not, let's see. Stone bricks, mossy stone, cracked stone, bricks, smooth stand, uh, sandstone, chiseled sandstone, nether brick, chiseled, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you can read. All right, so there are one, two, three, five sizes that they come in. There's three by three by four. They're all four blocks high. There's three by four. There's four by four. 3x5 and 5x5. Five five. Now, okay, so there's a four block radius. I really should have read all this stuff off before moving on, but too bad. Okay, so the farm blocks, that's these things, the farm blocks themselves. They're 36 in this size for 72 farmland, 48, 110, 64, 120. 60, 156, this is the most efficient one. 100 and 180, this is the least efficient one. So, now that we've got the sizes down, there are some specialty blocks that are used to make the multi farms. And those are doo -doo -doo, the gearbox. Oh, you know what? I don't even I don't even need to show you out here because I've got them down here. Okay, this is the, okay, well anyways, this is the gearbox, oh, not that, that's the peat fired engine that I'm using to power this thing, but in here there is a farm gearbox, and whoops, the recipe for that is the farm block and 310 gears. This is that would be the farm valve. Farm valve, where is that at? Here it is. Farm block, tin gear, two glass. And that is the farm hatch. That's this sucker right here. Farm block, trap door, two tin. And there's another specialty block at the top, but we'll deal with that later. And this right here, this is providing the water for the multi farm and that is an aqueous whoops i didn't mean to pick that up aqueous accumulate accumulator that's this stuff by now you should know how to look up recipes but you know i just did that because why not and this thing you want to have two source blocks touching one of its facings to uh to provide the most water or enough water at least anyways so i'm going to put some more peat in my peat fired engine to power this sucker up you have to supply the substrate as the uh, wiki page calls it but the dirt for for trees bog earth for peat oh yeah and you also need fertilizer you always need fertilizer and it can't be this kind, it can't be this kind. It has to be the blue kind. And that is made from either apatite and sand or ash. You get ash from peat fired engines. And, um, right, let me see. The other way to get it is saltpeter. And that is mined mostly like in deserts. All right, so now that I've done that, Oh, right. I should have explained what the uh, the things actually are, although you can pretty much figure it out. This is where the water goes into, and this is where items come out. I have them piping into a chest right now, and the chest is right there. Actually, I'm curious. I've had it running for a while, but not very long. Okay, so once you've got your your sucker powered it'll uh, you know if it's a managed farm then it'll place all these
things down, water included. Not this dirt around the edge. I did that because it it needed us another block to place a water there. But um, yeah, okay, so we did that, and oh yeah, the um, the circuit board. Now you don't need a circuit board in here if you're just making a tree farm, but since we are not having just a tree farm. We need a soldering iron. That's what this thing is right here. Recipe in a carpenter. Iron and bronze. And um, yeah, you just right click while not looking at something with a right click interface like a chest or a furnace or something like that. And the default thing here is going to say electric engine, but that's not what we want. We want managed farms or manual farms. Managed farms is the one that does the placing automatically and uh, let's see what we've got here we've got copper electron tube which will do arboretum which is tree farms and we've got tin electron tube which does peat bog bronze does crops so that would be like wheat or carrots or potatoes Iron electron tube. Oh wait, no. This is the one that does carrots and potatoes. This one right here would do wheat and probably barley, if I had to guess. Blazing electron tube does infernal farm, which is for nether wart. And apatine electron tube does shroom farms. Now these are what each one requires as a base bog earth for the peat farm, soul sand for nether wart, apatine for uh, my ceiling. Yeah, that. Okay. And uh, before I, I make one, you need one of these, by the way. Uh, let's see. You know, may as well show how it's made. They all use. Ah. They all have redstone on each side and five of the ingots and a thermionic fabricator. You need glass. And uh, let's see what else. Right, so actually making this thing. This is the best of the circuit boards. There's also basic, enhanced, and refined. Basic only has one slot, although it'll show the other slots here. Uh, enhanced, you can put up to two. And let's see, what was the other one? Refined has three, but this one has four slots. So what I'm going to put here is these like so, and it automatically makes it upon reaching the most that it can do. So one thing you got to look out for is if you put one in here, it'll replace the one that's in here and it won't give it to you back. So, yeah, I think I think that might actually be it, although I'm not 100% positive. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, if you place a redstone torch above or below the farm control block, I think it's called. Yeah. If you place a redstone torch above or below, it will turn the whole thing off. But if you place a redstone torch on just one of the sides, it will turn that side off. Alright, um, oh yeah, and as you can see here, the west and east sides of the farm are bigger than north and south. So that's something else to look out for. And I think that is pretty much it for the multi-farm tutorial thing. I know I was a bit all over the place, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!